Hi guys, it's T with T Quilts, and today is actually January 19th, 2022, and it is 4 a.m. in the morning. Let me make sure. Yes, 4.04 a.m. in the morning. I am trying to edit August completed videos. I did, I was doing recording for the projects I was doing for those panel quilts, and I think I kind of got mixed up in the video, so I deleted some stuff out at the beginning of this video. But I just wanted to do an introduction to this video. It is for the August completions. And September and forward videos are going to be a hot mess just as well as this one. But I'm doing the best I can with what I'm working with. So I hope you all enjoy the projects in August. I realize there are a lot of things that I have not even recorded that I've done since August. So these videos, um, August is going to be a pretty decent one. But they may be a little bare that I may have to end up combining um, some months. So we'll see what I can do in future months, but right now I'm just trying to play a little bit of catch up. So enjoy the video. Today is August 14th, 2021, and we are still working on the August completions. So I'm here to show you three customer quilts of Betsy's. I have left all of the names of these quilts inside, so I will put them on the screen. But I do know that this one is a GE Designs, and I'm not sure of the name of it, but I have it all on paper. So I'll try to remember to put it on the screen for you guys. So this one I really loved is all batiks with a black cotton background. I love the design, so very graphic. And I decided with this one, since it was very colorful, that I would use a variegated thread. So let me go up and show you the quilting. So here you can see the beautiful quilting. I used the Panto Batik. And I just thought that it would really enhance this. And then all of the stitching it's just gorgeous in this quilt. Also, she pieced the backing a little bit. She used two panels of black, and then she needed it to be just a little bit longer, so she ended up piecing in this pink portion here. So that's one quilt for her. So this next quilt of Betsy's is made from her daughter's catholic school uniforms and you all know i love memory quilts so this one was really fun for me to quilt it is in the shade and partial sun my uh, son hasn't passed over yet and betsy is going to be coming to pick these up soon so i wanted to get this recorded but i just love memory quilts and so i love this and she has the friendship star just has double meaning for me so i really like this one i actually purchased this panto it's called Glorious Crosses because I didn't have anything that was religious and I felt like for a quilt that was depicting someone's Catholic school history that I wanted to do something with crosses. So it's called again Glorious Crosses and I just love, love, love this panto. This final quilt of Betsy's is called Wanda and it's also a GE designs pattern it's a patriotic one it's kind of like a nine patch that's been twisted where you kind of cut uh, portions of it off and uh, I really like it and I like her fabrics that she chose as well and the sashing for this is pretty pretty cool so here we are you can see the quilting up close this is called star banner all around or stars all around one of those 
if it's different then I'll put it up on the screen but it was a free pattern that I got from Urban Elements so very nice design to go with this patriotic quilt this quilt is really long it's about a hundred inches long but I really like it and um, look forward to seeing you all in the next clip for my projects for the month of August Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I'm here to wrap up my completed projects for the month of August. It is August 31st. It is about 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, and I need to go live in an hour. But I am going to go ahead and run out and put my items on the deck and uh, get those recorded before I go live. All right, just giving you all a timestamp. It is now like 6.20 p.m., and I got to go live at 7, so I think we should make it. But just wanted to let you know how long it takes for me to get everything gathered and get it hung on my deck. One thing that I forgot to mention earlier is that I am working back on my Hey June quilt. It was it's by GE Designs and they did a sew along in June. I had eight blocks that I made in June and I have am working on another eight. I am doing that during my live chats on Saturday. So last Saturday I sewed my remaining eight blocks with frames and then I just cut them today in half so that I can sew them this Saturday coming up uh, into the block units that I need. So I just wanted to update you on that before we get started. This quilt here is a quilt that I started in February of this year. I went to immediately quilt it and had some issues with my long arm. Uh, this is the remaining blocks that were left over initially from me selling Drunkard's Path kits. I think I cut 24 kits. I sold 23 and then I had these 12 blocks remaining and I did a video on how to sew in piece the Drunkard uh, Path blocks and I will add that up at the eye above. Also this is an AccuQuilt die and if you are purchasing any AccuQuilt dies please use my affiliate link down in the description below I you still get to use all of your discounts but I get uh, just a small commission for sending you over there so I had the issue with this I think you can see it in my March or April completed projects video probably April because I think I was still having some issues in March um, but you can go see where I had tried to do a different diagonal chain and for some reason a diagonal chain would not connect so I had to take that stitching out twice also this is semi custom quilted I have a background that's quilted in hexagons in a hexagon chain and then I also have some decorative stitching in my circles and half circles so I will take you up close and let you see that So this is what's pieced into my full circle and then you can also see the hexagon background stitching that I did. I used my butler system to crop that out. I am also putting up a video on how to crop out of a circle and uh, putting that up on butler. And. So hopefully I have that video up within a week. I have to uh, get it edited. I just recorded it yesterday. So that's it for this quote. I am calling this flamboyant paths. Also, let me show you the back of my flamboyant paths. I um, still got some threads I need to clip on the back from all the jump stitches from when it had to stop here and then jump to go to the next place to stitch. But the quilt is done. I just got a label and everything. So that's the main thing. I can clip threads later. And sorry about forgetting to show you all the backing. Also remember that my quilts most times hang in order of size, not necessarily when I completed them. <laughs> so just keep that in mind as well. The Flamboyant Pass is the quilt that I actually finished today. <laughs> Flamboyant Paths is actually the quilt that I finished today. 
August 31st. However, this next quilt up is not my quilt. It is Kevin the Quilter's quilt. It is his mystery quilt from Edith Sitar. And it's the snowflake mystery quilt that she had. And he came over to quilt a couple of quilts and he couldn't get this one done so I just decided to do it for him. He's actually giving this to his mom and uh, he do so much for my mom that I thought that I would quilt this quilt for his mom. <laughs> so that's what this quilt is about. We used a panto called Snowflake Border to Border and I will take you up and let you see it as well. So you can see the snowflakes coming in here. It's got like little hooks as well, like could be flurries. <laughs> so really nice. He chose the thread color. I just did the quilting for him. So beautiful quilt, Kevin. And then you can see here his backing fabric. And uh, I probably have this quilt turned sideways. So it's one of those quilts that are square, so it really doesn't matter how you quilt it. But that's what his background fabric is. This is actually a gold, metallic gold here. The next quilt I want to show you is my Fusion Spirit. I did this one as a sew along video as well. Also, I did a second video where I showed you how to use the scraps to piece a back. Now, I do like the outcome of this quilt top but don't like all of the extra fabric that you're using and so I am going to redo this panel at some point in the future because I really like the setting and I am going to show you how you can do this and have less waste so that's going to be my goal for that one this one I used a panto called woven wind and uh, I'll take you up close and let you see it as well So here's the quilting. I felt like the panto itself didn't need any super uh, quilting on here because of the, I like the light going into dark, like lights coming out into the quilt top. And so I opted not to do any fancy quilting on this. I just love it. I did add a border, six inch border to the edge that was not part of the original pattern. And I also, as I mentioned before, did a video on uh, the back where I have pieced all of the scraps into a backing. And um, I will hopefully remember to flip this quilt and add a picture of the back for you guys. Or <laughs> I will refer you to the backing video because it should be shown in the backing video just not in a completed quilt but that's what fusion spirit looks like my next uh, project another project uh, along with the fusion spirit panel quilt that i started and finished this month <laughs> and uh, i actually bought this kit at the uh, rainbow quilt shop in Iowa on our shop hop so I was really excited about I bought a kit and actually got the kit done and have very little leftover with this kit so I just really enjoyed this was looking so forward to making it I really love it the only thing the kit did not have the two outer borders I added those myself I felt like it just was not big enough. I, I need quilts that are at least 60 inches wide. <laughs> so this, these were both going to be 50 inches if I didn't put any borders on them. So I love this panto. It's a Timeless Treasure panto by uh, Wang. H-W-A-N-G. Just look up Timeless Treasure and her name and she does a whole lot of bright things. So this is her confetti background here. And the kit just had enough for me to add just the, you know, the fabrics for the quilt. And then they had this right here for the binding. So I opted to use it as a border fabric instead. And then I also added this border fabric here. Kevin gave me this print he had purchased on the Iowa Shop Hop as well. 
Oh, I thought that I would come up and just show you close up of my mitered corners. This is one of those quilts that all four corners actually came out great. I was surprised. So I will sh also insert a photo of the leftover blocks that I made from the trimmings, squaring up of my mitered corners as well. And then lo and behold, I found in my stash this black confetti fabric that was by, I think RJR Fabrics, but it has black fusible interfacing on the back. I actually purchased it many years ago on my trip to New York in the garment district and I think they were using it to make clothing items but I actually like the idea of fusing your binding fabric or interfacing your binding fabric because even though it's not stiff it I think it will make it so that it will wear uh, longer take longer for it to actually uh, start to fray on the edge so I love this this is a panto I used on this is uh, a city windows by AM and it's so funny I just see another fly whenever I bring out floral quilts the bees and flies they think that it's a place where they can come get nectar it's too cute so here's the backing that I chose for my radiant trifecta my radiant trifecta is what it's called I use mostly this floral print here on top and then I ran out a little bit so I had to use the um, dark blue down here as well so, yeah. so here I'm showing you my final project for this month I did this Bears Paul in my quilt gill we had an on a virtual retreat where it was online and they just gave us links to places online to get patterns and i think this one was based on a version by missouri star although i end up setting mine a little bit different <laughs> so i do i think they have you make all of the blocks as is and then they just put block to block together and i decided to add sashing and cornerstones and then when i finished i wanted to do a border I didn't have a lot of yardage in fossil ferns, which is what this whole quilt is made out of. Since I didn't have a lot of yardage, I had to use two fabrics to do the borders on this quilt top. And so you can see where I have the bear paw up there in the corner. And then I also mitered opposite corners and then the other bear paw over there in the other fabric. And so I really liked how I got creative and used exactly what I had the sashing fabric every fabric was already in my stash so and also some of these came from a subscriber some of the fossil ferns I did pull some from my stash but I had a subscriber that had sent me like uh, one half fat quarters to one sixteenth pieces of different fossil ferns and so I incorporated those and then added more as I needed to so let's go up and see the quilting on this it's called Ferns Border to Border. So I just love this entire quilt situation here. And let me show you the backing that I chose for this one. It's just the 108, a uh, very simple, had enough to go around the entire quilt. So that is what I use. Very simplistic. It's kind of similar to Kevin's print, but it's not metallic. It's just um, beige. Well, the time is like 642. And I did remember to come back and show you the backing. So I've got like <laughs> 15 minutes to get in the house and go live tonight. But I did want to come show you this and I actually like the back as, as, just as well as I do the front. So it was fun piecing, great way to use up scraps, and uh, hopefully I will continue to do more of this in the future. Instead of making more strings and crumbs that they may or may not get used or I end up donating. And this way, it ends up matching the quilt. So that's it guys 
for this. So today is January 19, 2021, and I'm actually doing an insert. I'm actually about to donate this quilt later today to the doctor. I finished this quilt in August, and that was when I was having difficulty keeping up with doing all the recording and the things that were going on in my life. <laughs> and I just realized that I never even videotaped the completed quilt. So I am sure that there are many things that I have completed that I have not videotaped or taken a picture of and I know I've made probably since August at least 30 to 40 t-shirts that I have not even documented with one photo so I just wanted to come in put a quick picture up here it's not going to be able to go out on the deck but I did want to document that I finished this quote I think I started this quote in the live on July 3rd and I sold for three weeks and then I quilted it after that in September, but I never got it done. And then I meant to give it to the doctor for, and um, I meant to give it to the doctor that I made this quilt for us for a family member. Or they did some services for a family member, and so I meant to give this doctor this quilt. And then I forgot to take it to the appointment, and we had been going to this doctor like every week or every other week and then all of a sudden they said we won't see you until January and it's like oh my god so and I just didn't ever get around to taking the quilt up to the office but it's nice that we'll get to drop this off tomorrow at the doctor's appointment I mean whether well, today cuz it's like you know I don't sleep it's 4 a.m. <laughs> so it'll be uh, later today and um we're going to drop this off today, but I just wanted to come in and show you that I did get it quilted. And it's just with red thread on the back. I just have uh, blue fabric here that I used on the back. Very small label because I don't, you know, I didn't want to go overboard. But the um, information is done. It looks beautiful. I actually love this quilt show you some of it up there um, you can see the border here this is like this all the way around except at the top and bottom it was just a little bit bigger because the doctor is pretty tall and so I wanted to make sure that the doctor actually was able to use it as like a sofa quilt thank you all so much for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe Share my channel with your other quilting friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye, T-Quilters. Stay blessed.